Okay, what have we got here today? Well, it designed by instinct, YouTube channel, it could be anything. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, what I'm going to show off is an air-powered uh, surge pump. Uh, some people call it a surge pump, percolator pump, geyser pump. I've seen all these different names on YouTube. But I built this specific one here. Uh, this was not designed by me. But I thought I'd show everybody how this thing works. What you need is a one gallon container as the outside. Uh, you know, as the, uh, the bell we'll call it here, chamber. Um, this I got at Walmart. This was a, uh, a set of four like um, little uh, kitchen storage type things and it said this is 1.3 gallons because uh, I wanted to get something clear so you guys could see through it. Uh, you can use like a one gallon drywall paste bucket or anything like that. That's what the guy originally built this thing out of. And as you come down here, you notice there's a bunch of holes all the way around on the bottom. They're about three-eighths in size and I think they're about one inch on center all the way around. And that's just to allow water into the bottom of this chamber. You know, and it, it keeps all uh, debris and stuff from getting sucked in there. You also use cable ties to attach the lid onto the bottom. You're also supposed to put a weight on this, but I don't have a uh, huge, you know, like a barbell weight or something, but you're supposed to put about an eight pound weight on the bottom of this. Seven and a half, eight pounds, something like that. So you would figure out a method to strap like a metal weight to the bottom of this because you, you need to hold down this volume of air down in the bottom of whatever water you're pumping. So there's that. And uh, the pump itself is all made out of three quarter inch PVC. You know, there's just uh, an elbow, a T, and there's a uh, female thread fitting and a male thread fitting here with a big O-ring, you know, gasket type of deal in there. That's actually a, uh, like a, a square gasket put in there. So you just tighten this down and, and clamp it right there. There's also a barb fitting on here, which I just screwed in, ran my air hose in here, and I used hot glue to make up the difference between the aquarium tubing and the uh, barb fitting here. So you just got to get one that fits tight, or they actually have fittings like this that are designed to have air hoses snap onto them. So, you know, if you have the time and you can find those things, go ahead and do that. Now, the uh, pump assembly inside just sits off the bottom a little bit. And uh, the little J pipe that comes up the side here is supposed to be about an, a half inch from the top. So this, this could actually stand to be a little bit higher off the bottom. It really doesn't matter. The outside container in this doesn't matter very much. It just has to be a one gallon size and volume. Now one of the other things that does matter, you need to neck this down with an adapter on here. So I've got a reducer to go from three quarter to half inch and it takes a half inch pipe. It will only work with a half inch pipe. If you put a three quarter pipe in here, this thing probably won't pump. Um, I might show that later on in the video, but you know, we'll, we'll get to that. Now I'm powering it with a Eco Plus air pump called the Eco Air 2. These things are about, you know, 17 bucks. You can get them on Amazon or whatever. Uh, may or may not be able to find this in a local pet store. It says 6 watts on the box. Amazon says 4 watts. I don't know, whatever. I bought this one a while ago. It has two outlets on the front. They're nice metal outlets. And it's a very, very quiet pump. You can actually dial the air down, but you're going to run it full power for this, this type of setup. I've got one of the outlets blocked off and uh, the other one hooked up there. So these pumps, uh, a lot of people use them for hydroponics and stuff like that. They're a pretty good pump. I mean, they got nice feet on them. They sit up kind of decent, you know, nice shock absorbing. Not very loud at all, which is good uh, in an air pump. And some people said they actually last a long time, so we'll see. But now, I'm going to show you a couple strange things about this pump. Okay, got the pump plugged in. It's a little noisy now because it's just pumping into uh, nothing with no resistance. Once the resistance hits it, it gets real quiet. 
So, here's the strange thing about this pump. If you put this pump into shallow water, it won't pump at all. What this pump does, the air comes into here and fills this chamber right down to about this level and then it just fluctuates a little bit. It's using the air pressure inside here as like a, uh, like a diaphragm that just fluctuates back and forth like that and each time it does that it sends another pulse of water up the pipe. And this pump was designed to pump out of a 55 gallon barrel. So I'll demonstrate here. Hopefully you can see this. You can see it was barely pumping. I push it to the bottom of the container and I get a very small spit of water out of this thing. You can hear it kind of thud. Basically, it barely pumps. So in a shallow tank like this, this is a seven and a half gallon container, probably about five gallons of water in here right now. You'll see water level just changes a little bit like that, and it pumps very little. It threw a little bit of water on the ground here, but not very much. Okay, so now I got this thing partially uh, set up here in in the 55 gallon drum, and we're down in about 32 inches of water. I'm going to fit a little U on the pipe here so you can see how much water it pumps back into the barrel for right now. Now comes the trick. Holding this down in there without a weight. And roughly every 10 seconds, this thing will uh, shoot a good shot of water. And we'll aim it out here. That's a lot of water. And how much does it shoot per surge? It's 
about four ounces per surge. Almost exact. So about a hundred milliliters. Yep, four ounces per surge, hundred milliliters. So 16 ounces or 500 milliliters in four surges, you know, about 40 seconds. So all in all, a very interesting kind of pump that has no moving parts in it, except for the uh, single arm operating inside this air pump, uh, pushing a little rubber diaphragm. So it's uh, really reliable and this thing would run for a long, long time. And because it's just wide open three quarter inch plumbing inside here, uh, it's not going to, it's not really going to clog at all. It's just going to go ahead and push everything up the tube. I've seen some other geyser pumps uh, on YouTube that are like a, an, a large outer casing with a pipe on the inside you know, like in the center, and uh, it looks like those could clog or something like that. This one is literally just one big straight shot up through here. So, very, very cool design. And, uh, you know, it'll pump one barrel to another one eventually. Like I said, it's, uh, you know, about 16 ounces or 500 milliliters of water in about 40 seconds. Pretty cool.